the language because I live in Brussels. Je parle français un peu. Je speak Nederlands, plein beetje Nederlands. Je speak Engels. At home, I speak Balinese. I have to keep my language. My children, three children, Indonesian language. They speak Indonesian language. And the two children in the Netherlands school and the first in the French school. You can imagine, we speak <laughs> a lot of language. But this is the culture mix we like very much. You know, the, the cultures we speak different, it's okay. But we are together. So we keep here the, the Balinese cultures and we keep the traditions. And we are happy now in Belgium, there's big temples of um, a Balinese temple. You know Paradisa? Paradiso before. <laughs> oh, Paradiso. <laughs> now they change the name. It's Paradisa. And then we're going often there. You know, Balinese people in Belgium only 40. Not so much. Indonesian people 1,000, 2, uh, 2,000 people. Indonesia is everywhere. Even here in Lir, I think there is Indonesian people. But Bali only 40. But we often going to the temples. We still keep the traditions. Yeah, even we we have a children, they mix with the Belgians. Okay. And we still keep the tradition and we play music and play the gamelan itself. So uh, for the Balinese people it's very important how we keep religion, the traditions, but of course we integrate with the culture of the modern life. We have to adapt a little bit, you know, because, yeah, it's globally, our culture is changed. But never mind, we, we still keep the tradition, we are living the modern life, and then the culture is still there, because very important. And the religious, of course, is um, it's quite difficult here where we live, because uh, we have to work, compared in Bali, in Bali everyday life. We are offering to play the gamelans, and we are very happy there. <laughs> but here it's okay. But we are happy we have uh, gamelans like this. We have uh, a performance, and and we have a temples, and so we we are very happy to, to, to have it. And 